Setting up custom tags is a really simple but powerful tool for navigating and working with timelines. All you need to do is open the tag menu, right click and select new tag. Now we can customize the tag name and description and assign a custom icon. Tags are bin and timeline independent, which means you have full control to tag items in your project bin to help with organizing asset libraries quickly, which is great for when you're on set, while also giving you the ability to tag items on the timeline for individual frame notes, shot groupings, and just generally as a great way for adding data to any item. In this instance, we are just creating some custom tags to denote which artists are assigned to which shots, as well as the status of the shots. This will make it easy for us to find the shots we want to review as our timeline grows and becomes more complex. To quickly search our timeline, we can just drag and drop the tags onto our spreadsheet search bar to isolate the shots on the spreadsheet, as well as highlight them on the timeline when selected. By default, our search criteria is set to match any criteria, so it will show all the shots that have one of the search tags. But by changing it to match all criteria, we can see the results of any shots that are tagged to a specific artist and are also tagged to work in progress. Using the Hero Shot Manager Python example available on our Python developers guide, we can start generating dynamic timelines based on our custom tags. With our dynamically generated timeline, we can load it up on Nuke Studio ready for dailies in our review suite or an artist can load it up at their desk using Hero Player if they want to quickly check their work or go over the feedback added to the shots during the daily session.